Hello everyone, I'm Margot from the blog youmakefashion.fr. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 ideas to customize a simple t-shirt. The first idea is to cut the short sleeve of your basic t-shirt to make a tank top. My little tip is to put the stretches on top of each other so that you can cut the two sides of the t-shirt at the same time. I start away from the stretches, like one centimeter away, but I can do three as well if you want. And you cut the two parts of the t-shirt at the same time, so that it's going to look even. And here's your tank top. The second idea is to create a t-shirt with fringes. But first of all, I'm going to make it shorter. So you put it flat on the table and you start cutting like that so it makes it shorter and straight. And then you can start with the fringes. You always start with the, by the extremity with the stretches and you, cr you cut a fringe every two centimeters and you want to stop at the same point so that all the fringe are, are cut at the same time. You don't want to do the two sides of the t-shirt at the same time because it's got not going to be straight. But here you're going to make it regular and really nice. There you go, second t-shirt. For the third idea, we'll start with the t-shirt number two and we are to tie the fringes together. So it's very simple, you take two fringes like this and you tie them together but not too tight. You go on like this for the whole t-shirt and then you take a left fringe and an of a nod and a right fringe of the other one and you tie them together. But still, not too tight. This one is alone but we'll use it, don't worry. third line you make it double knot to finish it. And here is the result. First idea is to create a nice color. I'll do it on the same t-shirt because the result is really nice. And to avoid sewing, I'll use little golden nails like this. So it's very simple. You place the color and then you fix it with the nails. One in the middle and then you can fold each sides of the nail like this. It's very simple and here's the result and no sewing. The fifth idea is a necklace t-shirt. So I'll use this chain as a necklace. I'll check how much I need. I don't want it to be too tight, but you do as you like. And I'm going to use my scissors to cut the chain. Well, to open one link actually like this. And once again, to avoid sewing, I'll use the same nails as for t-shirt number four. So you place the nail like this on the chain and then on the t-shirt. Finally, you fold the nail tight and the result is really nice. Don't forget that the chain is really flat because in the process it can move. Then I'm going to add a little pom-pom to enhance the necklace. So you take the embroidery yarn and you round it around two fingers like this. If you want it to be really fluffy, well, use a lot of yarn. Then you cut and you need a 10 cm yarn that you will place here without cutting the edge. You need another 10 cm yarn and you create the pom-pom. at the end by cutting the yarns here. As I told you, we need the two first yarns that you will place in a link of the chain like this and tie it around the chain and it looks like a pendant. Six 
idea were to create a Navarro t-shirt so you cut triangles in synthetic leather and then you will place them on the t-shirt and you'll stick them with the hot melt glue applicator. So I cut my first triangle and another one with the same color. I can even use the first one to make the same. With the hot melt glue applicator, you put glue everywhere, but you want to avoid the borders because it could spill. And don't forget the top. And you place the triangles like this. You push for a few seconds so that it stays in place. When you feel the glue is cold, you're done. And here it is. You can make the other triangle. And there you go. For idea number seven, still using synthetic leather, I'll create two horns and I'll place them on the breast for a sexy result. So I'll cut the first one and use this one to create the other one. Okay, so I chose hearts, but you can choose something else. You can put whatever you want. Then I glue them, not towards the edges so that it doesn't spill, and I put them on the shirt as soon as possible. I will also use a hot melt glue applicator for this one, but if you like to sew well, you can do it for sure. So we'll create another color. I apply directly the glue on the t-shirt, personally, so because I think it's more easy. So five centimeters by five centimeters, add the glue dry really fast, and then you place the color, and as soon as possible, you want to push the color on the t-shirt. this night's idea, I want to write something on the t-shirt using nails. Nails are really useful because you don't need to sew and that's the idea of the video. So you can write a short word and use nails with different colors, different forms and everything. For this last t-shirt, we are going to use rain stones. I really like this idea, it looks like a necklace on the t-shirt. So first of all, you want to see the motif you are going to make, so you can test it directly on the t-shirt, and then you can glue them on the t-shirt, but they, you can also sew them if you prefer. But I wanted to do something simple for the summer. For watching this video and for more tips and tricks, visit our website easyexperttips.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel Easy Expert Tips.